Sophia Magana. Um, my plan is, is to take comfort breaks one in the morning and one or so in the afternoon. And I'll look for, you know, sort of in between. So just to let you all know that. If, um, if something needs to happen outside of that, let me know. Yes, sir. May we take one after the witness, Your Honor? That's my, that'd be my plan. I agree. Hand, please, ma'am. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you will give in a matter of the state of Georgia versus Jose Avaro will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guide? Yes, I do. Great. If you could please take a seat. And uh, I know you are soft spoken. Can you please move that microphone right um, close to your mouth so that His Honor can hear you and that counsel for the defendant can hear you? It's really important that you be heard, okay? And Madam Court Reporter is very close to you as well. She has to be able to hear everything you're saying because she's taking it down. Yes, All right. Spell your first and last name, please. S-O-F-I-A-M-A-G-A-N-A. -A -A. How old are you? I'm okay. Okay, doing all right. Where do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. And what do you teach? I teach um, special education, high school language arts. How long have you been a teacher? Uh, four months. Where did you go to college? I went to the University of Georgia. And did you graduate? Yes, ma'am, in May. Of this year? Yes. Where were you living uh, at the time of your graduation? I was living in a house off of Millage Avenue, extension. Who were you living with? Um, Lily, Connolly, and Lakin. How long did you live together? Um, I lived with them for two years. I want to direct your attention to February 22nd, 2024. What were you doing that day? I was taking my GACE exam for my certification. How do you spell that? G-A-C-E. What is a GACE exam? Um, it's a test you're required to take to get certified as a teacher in the state of Georgia. Were you allowed to have your phone with you when you took the test? No, ma'am. I had to put it in a locker. What time did you leave your house that morning to take the test? around 8 20. when you left your house that morning did you see any of your other roommates i saw lakin and connelly before i left where did you see them connelly was on her couch and lakin was sitting at the table um and i spoke to him for a little bit when you left out uh where did you go for the test was it on campus or elsewhere it was on campus it was in clark hall how long were you there taking your test um, I got there around like 8.45 and I was, I left maybe around 11.15ish. When you completed your test, what happened? I got my stuff, I got back in my car and I drove back to my house because I didn't have service, so. When you say service, you didn't have what service? Phone service. And why didn't you have phone service? Because AT&T had the outage that morning and my provider is AT&T. So. What happened when you were eventually able to get service back on? I got back home, and when I got service, I had some texts from Connolly, um, my roommate, asking me to check around the house to see if I saw Lake in anywhere. Um, and then once I got into the house, I got a phone call from Connolly and um, Lauren. Who's Lauren? Lauren's Lake and younger sister. After you got the call from Connolly and from Lauren, did you look for Lake in? Yes, I looked for her around the house, um, outside, in her car, kind of everywhere, every room, every corner, um, a few times, and I didn't see her. What did you do after that? I grabbed my dog, and I decided to check her location on find my iPhone, and then um, got my dog on his leash and started heading out to go towards her location. Did you go alone, or did someone else besides your no. dog go with you? Um, Camp came with me and then my roommate, Lily. Champ is your dog? Yes, ma'am. So where did y'all walk and about how long did it take you to get there? Um, we walked down the trail that was like off the road. So it took us about no more than 15 minutes, so I'd say maybe 10 to get to where we got. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes. I'm showing you three exhibits at the same time. 
State's Exhibit 5, State's Exhibit 6, and State's Exhibit 7. Starting first with State's Exhibit 5, do you recognize that overall photo? Yes, ma'am. What is it? Um, it's the map of the um, trail. And the state would move to admit State's Exhibit 5. No objection. Five submitted. State's Exhibit 6 and 7, do you look at mm -hmm. both of those? Yes, ma'am. Do you recognize both of those? Yes, ma'am. The pictures I took when I found in the car. And do they fairly and accurately depict what you saw on February 22nd of 2024? Yes, ma'am. They would need to admit states six and seven, request permission to call. No objection. Six and seven are admitted in the appropriate And may we toggle back over, Your Honor? Yes. Starting first with State's Exhibit 5, and I have a pointer that I think you could use that has a laser pointer. Your Honor, can you see the screen that you need me to point at? I can. I, I've got the You've got the other pointer? Okay. And that's probably be better as well. With how much she's got, yeah. If you could show. Um, his Honor, what direction did you and Champ and Lily go, and where were you when you found an AirPod? Um, so we started here, and then right about here. At the end of the? Um, at oh, Millage, where it Millage turned Avenue? into a sidewalk. Okay. Um, we got to the sidewalk, and then there's the train tracks, like, right here, and there's a little, like, trail that's just been walked over a lot, so we went down the trail and then crossed over the train tracks and then walked this. Around the, the retaining pond? Yes, on the side around of the retaining pond. All right. Can I stand up? You, you may stand with the court's permission. Yes. Thank you. But keep your voice up so Madam Court Reporter can hear you. Okay. So we walked here and then this is where like the main trail starts. So we got over here. There's a, like a turn. So we took the curve and stopped right about there. Okay, so in the, in, uh, when you say there, is there a trail there? Yes, ma'am, it's all a trail. It's and that's trail. on the uh, top right part of State's Exhibit 5. For the record, I'm just making a record yes. for the court. Right. Okay. Where within the trail, was it on the side of the trail, the middle of the trail, where within the trail did you find the iPod? AirPod, um, the AirPod was towards the left-hand side, but still on the trail and showing you first of all how how did you find the airpod um champ was sniffing a lot and so i looked down because he was really fixated over a specific area where i kind of had stopped and he was pulling and then when i looked over i noticed there was like a white airpod so all right states exhibit seven what are we looking at there and can you can you see the AirPod? Yes. Can you point to it for the court? It's right here. Okay. The bottom of this photo. Yes, ma'am. Um, that's where I found the AirPod, or where it was when we got it. And you said this is State's Exhibit Six. First of all, do we see Champ in State's Exhibit Six? Yes, ma'am. He's right here. All right, in the corner, the left corner of the photograph. Yes, ma'am. If you could use State's Exhibit Six, show us within the trail where you found the AirPod. Um, the AirPod was about right here. Okay, where your shadow is? Yes, ma'am. Or a shadow of a person? Yeah, my shadow. Okay, thank you. While out there, uh, did you see Lakin? No. Okay. When you found the AirPod, did you look at it? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you think it was Lakin? I did. And why did you think it was Lakin's AirPod? Um, she always had a little bit more wax on her AirPods, so I noticed the earwax. And was it also, um, did she have, what color were her AirPods? They were white. Okay. So did you collect it? Yes, ma'am, I did. And did you eventually give it to the police? Yes, ma'am, I did. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes. What's been marked for identification purposes? States Exhibit 8. And I'm just going to ask you to look inside this bag for me, and I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. The 
Let's get inside that bag. Do you recognize what is inside State's Exhibit 8? Yes, ma'am. What is it? It's her air pod. Is that the one that you picked up on the 22nd day of February 2024 that you gave to the University Police Department? Yes, ma'am. And is it in the same or substantially same condition? Yes. State removed to admit State's Exhibit 8. Request permission to publish. Okay. I submit it and publish. Just one. Just one. After you found the AirPod, Ms. Magana, what did you do? Um, I well took the pictures first just to remember. Um, and at that point, I picked it up and I turned around to Lily and I told her we were going to walk back to call the police because we both didn't have service. And did y'all do that? Yes, ma'am, we did. And then where did you go after the police were called? Um, I went to go pick up my roommate Connolly from her class and then I met Lily with Connolly at the IM field deck. And when y'all were at the IM field deck, did the police respond? Yes, ma'am. And did you tell them the information that you had gathered? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Magana, did you receive any text messages, any calls, or any communication with Lake and Riley after 9.03 a.m. on the 22nd day of February, 2024? No, ma'am. My last text from her was at 9.02. May I have a moment with counsel, Your Honor? Yes. I don't have any questions for Mr. Mall. Yes, sir, and she would also like to remain. Ten minute recess.